and Target. <laughs> what do you think about all that? How is that affecting you? Uh, well, it's a very funny story. This is my first on the record uh, conversation about it, I really? guess. I wish Target had a bit more of a backbone when it mm -hmm. came to dealing with this, but I think that that criticism, again, goes more up to the top than anyone that I was actually specifically dealing with. You know, I think the hardest part for me is like, there are performers like Kennedy Davenport, who I was so excited to get into a retail program, something as important and big as a brick and mortar space like Target, um, and to be celebrated because she, amongst so many others that we had in that program, deserved to get their fucking flowers. You know, I understand why people are upset about Target waffling on it. And it's like, okay, if we, we can't directly change anything outside of criticizing and hoping that they walk back their walk back, could you at least please still support us, dragqueenmerch.com, drag queens, like people who are working sure. in the retail space as queer you know, distributors. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now in my head.